Hey everyone, um, it's your biology teacher. So I know it's been a while, <laughs> right? Had a lot of technical difficulties, all that stuff, but it's fine now. So I just wanted to say, uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's good. We're going to, because I'm your biology teacher, we're going to spend the next two weeks talking about uh, the COVID virus. So I know it's pretty intense. Um, if you don't want to look at the news or you can't handle it right now, that's fine. Um, just don't worry about bio for the next two weeks. Read something about plants, whatever. Um, you can watch this video, that's fine. But if you don't want to do the assignment because reading the news freaks you out, that's fine. Don't bother. It's okay. We're doing this because this is probably the first time you can actually understand what's going on. So what I mean by that is in grade 10, you didn't really know enough biology. So someone told you, oh, there's so many strains or there's this and that, and this is happening. You'd be like, well, I don't know anything about cells or or bacteria or virus or anything else. So how would I make sense of this? So, but now that we've covered things like we've covered evolution, we've covered diversity of living things, we've covered all that kind of stuff. So you, you have kind of more of a sense where how could a virus that started with one animal go into another animal and what's going on with this? So you're really in an interesting place where you actually have the tools that you need to understand why is the world shut down right now? Like why is everyone self-isolating or whatever you want to call it? Why do we keep keep six feet apart? Like what's going on, right? So I think this is makes a lot of sense to cover for the next two weeks at least, right? Maybe we'll do more of it. Um, but at least for the next two weeks, we're going to do that. So without further ado, let's head into this. Let's do it. Okay, so let's take a look at what you're going to do this week. So this is week one. So week one and two, we're going to be looking at pretty much viruses. And I think on week three and four, we might do more stuff about plants because that's where we left off. But I mean, it makes sense to talk about what's going on now. Okay. So first one is going to be COVID and viruses. So hopefully, ideally, you have a computer with internet access. So this will be good because you can take a screenshot of the graph table image or whatever you're going to look at later. Um, you can type out your explanation. We also have the chance to share whatever you find with each other on the Google Classroom. So you could do that. Um, but a bare minimum, you need this video. Um, a way to search for more videos on any device and you can just use a piece of paper to write down your explanation. So let me tell you what you're going to be trying to do. So the first thing we're going to do is watch the two Vox News videos. Um, then after that, after you've seen both of those to kind of get a sense of what's going on, if you haven't been looking at the news, that's fine. These will kind of get you up to date. Uh, second thing you're going to do is try to find a graph, table, some kind of infographic, something about COVID online. So there's tons of data, there's tons of things sitting around, but I think what you'll notice is that when you're looking at all of these things, that it's kind of complicated and you can't really digest all of them at once. So we're going to practice writing a results section. So number three is practice results section to walk us through what you found in number two. So in number two, you're going to find some sort of table, some kind of graph some piece of image and you're going to walk us through like how do we make sense of this because there's so many numbers sometimes on the screen and there's so much going on that you have to kind of write a about a one paragraph maybe a little longer if you need to but just walk us through what the table is showing you okay and then obviously as i said before if all this covid stuff is stressing you out and you can't think about it that's fine <laughs> read some stuff about plants uh focus on your other courses it's fine um, I just thought this is a really, we may as well talk about it. I'm your biology teacher. It's biology class. Like we should do this, right? So this is an example of what I found. Uh, this is just some graphic that, <clears throat> can, can you be outside for one more minute? Okay, so is this an example of a graphic that I found? So this was some random one on world o meter, right? So there's a lot of numbers going on. So when you write a results section, if you're doing any kind of report or something like that, you need to write your results. You're going to walk the person through what's happening, like what are the trends? So don't try to explain it. Don't explain what COVID is. Don't do all this research on what a virus is and blah, 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 blah. Okay, this isn't about that. What you're going to do is you're going to basically write a paragraph explaining what's happening in this graph. So you might say things like, um, you'll notice that new cases began in January of, tw you know, January 22nd or January 24th. And then you might say what's happening as you go along. So you say there was a spike in February 13th and you'll notice an exponential growth uh, pattern starting especially after March 10th. 
So you're kind of walking them through like what is happening at these different times. You'll also discuss what's happening with the new recoveries. So you'll be mentioning what's happening with the recovery graph or what's happening with this trend line. So you're just kind of writing it out on the computer um, or you're writing it down on paper, but just what's happening, walk us through the numbers, especially if you do look at this online, you can actually put your mouse over them and they give you exact numbers. So it might be nice, you could talk about, oh, there was a spike at this time and it was you know 10,000 or 5,000 or whatever the spike was, and then continue to say what the numbers are and where we ended at right now. Okay, this gets especially more interesting as time goes on because you can see right now there's kind of a spike around April 1st, but then maybe it goes down. We don't know, right? So you'll have to collect more data later. But yeah, try it out. Um, show me what you find. If you find anything good, um, upload it to the Google Classroom and we can talk about it next time we meet in the virtual class. But for now, just explore and find some different pieces of data online. But don't spend more than an hour on this. If you get stuck in a loop where you're just looking at more and more news, um, don't do it for the sake of biology class, do it if you're interested, but just don't spend more than an hour watching the videos and looking for the things because you can get stuck looking for data forever. So uh, that's it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the virtual classroom. Okay, bye.